No, Malcolm Gladwell got a lot of attention for outliers and talking about you know, 10 years of practice and you'll get there, practice makes perfect. Is this book to some extent a response to that? You're making a counter argument that it's not just practice that makes perfect. You want to really rise to your best, you need the comp level of competition. Right, well, uh, you know, should I pick a fight with Malcolm <laughs> Gladwell? <laughs> Might depend on the length of your ring Should finger. I? What do you think? <laughs> well, no, okay, well, I'll just be clear is that, um, uh, you know, officially, we <laughs> see this as additive to the equation, and that needing 10 years of experience to be an, to be an expert is, uh, you know, you, you do need a lot of stuff to become an expert. You drive a lot of knowledge through your brain, down into the cerebellum of your brain, which is was automatized. However, uh, 10 years of practice is like, well, who gets that before they have to compete? And more than that is we're not judged on how we practice. We're judged on how we perform. And the notions of what goes into actually that, that performance, 10 years of practicing at performing does help you. But, you know, um, the difference between doing well in practice and doing well when it counts is drastic. If the New York Times recently, we've had a 4,500 word story on the comp gene nicknamed the warrior warrior gene, which did, showed, and it worked, talked about a study in Taiwan where ninth graders, uh, in Taiwan, they have this incredibly severe, threatening system where you don't even get to go into a 10th grade academic school unless you pass this test, at which 65% of all Taiwanese children fail. It's so hard. I, we have some sample questions in, in the book. I don't know what page it is, but mm -hmm. they're like, I looked at those things, and I'm like, they're harder than the GRE or the GMAT. I mean, and they're like, ninth graders have to do it. And so they go to these cram schools. It's enormously stressful. And some scholars genotyped the kids, and they were looking for this comp gene, which, which variation of the genes the, the kids have. And they found that those who have the warrior genes, uh, normally to have a warrior gene is great. Without stress, you have a 10-point IQ advantage. And this is a better uh, prefrontal cortex functioning without stress. But on that test, they sank eight percentage mm. points. Um, and so this, this, this test, this system was designed to take these very smart kids who know the stuff, but they do not respond to that kind of pressure. Um, while there are other kids or other people um, and who actually need the stress to perform their best. And their brains don't work very well. You know, it's the sort of people, I don't want to, I'm not trying to put an umbrella around everybody who's slothful or lazy or doesn't get their homework done. But we all know people who, who, don't take the day quite they, the day to day work quite as seriously, and they kind of need the deadline. They need the pressure, and that's when you can kind of count on them. And part of this is that uh, some people's brain needs that. It raises their dopamine levels up to optimal for them to actually function mentally the best.